Hello everybody and welcome back. As you can tell by the title below, this is going to be a very interesting video. The first thing that the doctors taught me when they put me back together after having my nervous breakdown at 22 because of the human trafficking and the sexual abuse that I had endured since the age of three was to say yuck fu. However, the letters, the first letters of each word were inverted. But because this is a platform where children can stumble upon videos, I'm trying to keep it child friendly. I remember I had to go to court once. It was a civil matter, and I had never represented myself. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Um, my opposing attorney, the person that was against me, was very intimidating. He had on a navy blue crisp suit, expensive, a white pressed starched shirt, that looked like it came from the dry cleaners. Navy blue shoes that shone that you could see your reflection in. Gold cufflinks in his sleeves. A perfectly positioned tie with a tie clip. Older man, very distinguished. I heard the bailiff chuckle saying, oh my God, she's going against the former DA. Well, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what they were talking about. And I really didn't care. I was there to take care of business. <laughs> now, before you go to court, the uh, judge will usually have you um, speak with the opposition, um, you know, try to negotiate, you know, mediate some kind of resolution before you go into the courtroom. Well, he wanted me to tell him information, and I knew not to give information out. And he said, fine, then, you know, I'm just going to tell the judge or something. And I said, tell it to the judge. And I walked out on him, and I went back into the courtroom. So when we go into the courtroom... <laughs> He calls me up to the witness stand and I take my seat, you know, I'm sworn in to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And, um, the first thing he does is he tells the judge before I ask her any questions, I would like to, um, let the record show that this is a hostile witness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh. And I screamed, objection! <laughs> the judge spun around in her chair. She was startled. She didn't, she didn't realize something like that would come. <laughs> and she says, why are you objecting? And I said, he wants to call me a hostile witness because before we came in, he started asking me all these questions and I said, no comment. And so he threatened with bringing me into court. And I said, tell it to the judge. <laughs> well, the judge swung back, <laughs> faced him and says, she's right. She doesn't have to tell you anything. <laughs> and lo and behold, <laughs> my legal career began. <laughs> it was fun. It was kind of hard. I didn't know what I was doing. I had someone on the witness stand. I didn't know that you're supposed to ask questions instead of just saying things like, well, you were over here and you did this, that, and the other, right? No, you have to ask questions. It's like the show Jeopardy, where you go, what is the Empire State Building for $200, please? So once I got the hang of that, I was rocking and rolling in that courtroom. I loved it. Let me tell you something. I won. And the reason why I won is because I told the truth. 
and because I had the yuck foo attitude of no, you're not going to intimidate me. No, I'm not going to back down. Years later, I saw that attorney and I had gotten a job with a, another law firm as a paralegal, part-time, freelance, and I had gotten into law school. I had won some more court cases on my own with very substantial amounts of money, I might add. <laughs> and I had gotten into law school, but I, you know, I haven't had the time really to dedicate to it. And he said, why didn't you go to law school yet? You're so good. <laughs> and I said, I haven't had the time. I'm like, you remember me? And he's like, yes. How could I not remember you? <laughs> he said, you were good. And you weren't afraid. And you told the truth. And that's when I kind of figured out this man wasn't a bad person you know, because he'd been a DA, he was just someone that was, you know, paid to go in there and do a lawsuit. Um, you know, but when it comes to court, you know, it's about doing things the right way. You know, there's certain, um, protocol and steps you have to take. So I was like, so proud that this man remembered me and actually thought really good because of his position and his stature and his experience. Don't ever be afraid to speak the truth. And don't ever be afraid to have that attitude of yuck foo. Now, I know there's some concerns out there about keeping a flag out. My flag is up. Biden has flags. Kamala has flags. My flag is out. I'm an American. And that's my flag. And this is my country. However, my flag is flying at half mast. As a sign of mourning. For every victim of human trafficking. Dead or alive. That has had their lives destroyed. Because Donald Trump refused to drain the swamp, knowing each of the swamp members by name and by betraying America. Because he didn't have the guts to say yak fu and tell the truth. Be you. Be the truth. And have that yak fu attitude. Because that's what gets you out of things. And refuse to ever be silenced with the truth. Let's so go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. You know, comment down below and share this. Share the information that I'm giving you so that there will be not one more victim of human trafficking. Thank you.